Yo, what up, man? It's your boy, man, Big Body Cole, man. This shit right here. Oh, nigga, this shit right here is Big Body Production, man. You know, you know, I, I, I try to leave shit alone, but you know, you like, like, typical shit that women do. They like to pick and pick and pick and pick until they unleash the dragon, man. You know, like I said in the last video, family ain't shit. Talking about my my whack ass cousin. You know, she like to sit there and keep going on and on about shit. Like, look, you know, I. I'm gonna try my hardest to refrain from calling you a bitch. Because a bitch actually is an understatement to somebody like you. You're, you're, you're beyond that. You're, 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 you're calling you a bitch is like being being nice. Nah, fuck that. Nah. I'm not gonna call you no bitch. I'm gonna say you're more like a. You're just an emotional bum, like You're so stuck in your emotions that you'll never. You'll never even amount to anything or go anywhere. You'll just be the little ass wiping fucking hospice nurse that you've been for the past 15 plus years man you do you do what you, you, your body allows you to do which is stay tuned to ass because you're an asshole you know you, you, you come around you, you talk this shit on my text you're mad because I told you your, your, your daughter's father yeah your daughter's father about how you borrowed $20 from me because your son needed an ID mind you your son's a grown ass man and your son that came to me without you, he could have got the money and ain't had to pay me back. But being that you want to be Miss Honcho Mom, Miss Super Mom with a cock between your legs, you always want to act like you're the man of a situation, but you want to lay on your back and take a wood up in you when you want to be a lady. When you want to be a lady. Because that, that, that you want to be a lady is rare. I mean, let's be for real. You do got hair on your chin. You know, you just pluck them every couple weeks. You know, let's let's just be clear. And let's be crystal clear. See, you got to understand one thing about me, cousin. When you come from me, you got to come correct. See, your old ass likes to be on social media trolling to find out what your baby dad is doing. See, but what you fail to realize is baby dad ain't worried about you. Baby dad just want to be worried about his offspring. See, you're so stuck in his ass like, like old toilet paper, you can't get over the fact that the nigga, and, and let's be clear, and let's be crystal clear, the nigga got love for you. The nigga got love for you, he just can't fuck with your crazy fucking ass. You're fucking nuts. You key niggas cars, you hop out on motherfuckers thinking that niggas is cheating on you with other bitches. How is a nigga cheating on you if he's not even with you? All right, yeah, you know, typical man shit. He might come by, drop the dick once in a while. I mean, shit. I fucked my baby mama once in a blue moon before, you know, until shit got to to the point where you know we don't even be bothered no more. But I mean, that's just the that's just the way diggers do. You know, you gotta understand when you when you fuck up so much in life, you become pump and dump material. Oh, oh, did did, did I offend you? Did I offend you? Because I said, oh, you're pumping dumb material? Well, hey, don't be mad at me. Be mad at yourself. You you brought that up. Acting all crazy and retarded and shit. Wanting to be all fucking gangster and, 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 and civilized at the same time. It don't mix. See, you're what they call a, an emotional wreck. You're not even an emotional roller coaster. You're an emotional wreck. You're an emotional bum. You, just, you sit here, you come through my phone like a typical chick. You want to talk about shit that got nothing to do with anything. Well, if Kevin was a borrowing of money, you know you wouldn't get... What the fuck Kevin got to do with anything? This ain't got nothing to do with your brother. Stop trying to throw niggas in the mix. Stop trying to be... Stop trying to be what they call a uh, petty betty. You see, let me tell you one thing. If Kevin did borrow money from me, but I told him he had to pay me back. You know why? Because he came to me. He needed to borrow money. His sister didn't fucking pucker up and come talking about, oh, my brother needs to borrow money. It's like, you know, you came talking about your son needs to borrow money. And let's get back on another thing. Since you're so gangster over the phone and shit, you know, because you, you phone thugging. So 
you know, you want to be a digital thug. I'm going to show you how this digital thug shit works. I'm going to show you how this shit goes. See, I, but see, the thing with me is I put out facts when I do mine. I put out facts. You want to sit there and talk about how um, no, nobody, uh, uh, what? Oh, shit. Can I get up under here? Can I get up under here? Can I... Shut the fuck up. Almost, almost thought I couldn't make that clearance on that bridge, but now that I'm back and shit, because you know this is what I do. I'm the transporter, baby. I get it done behind the wheel. I don't wipe ass for a career. I get, I get behind the wheel and transport shit. You dig? But anyway, back to your whack ass. Um, so you talk about me and oh, your ADD and and all this mental shit. Okay, let's be for real. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little fucking cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs when need be. Do I take medication? Fuck no. Do you need some? Yes, you do. You have a history of being a, a, a dumb fuck. Keying niggas' cars, coming through niggas' windows, trying to fight chicks and to, trying to fight over a man that don't want nothing to do with you. Oh man, do you really want to go there? Like, let's be for real. You, 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 you got a GED. You know what that stands for? A good enough diploma. Because your ass ain't want to finish high school because you was too busy chasing a dick. They ain't want nothing to fucking do with you. Do you really want to go there? Oh, I'm going to press charges on you for harassment and slander. Press them. Press them. See if I respond. Fuck you think this is, girl. Come through my phone talking that dumb shit. And then you also want to talk this... I'm dead to you. We're not family no more. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you. One less motherfucking wench and headache for me to worry about. Thank you. Move the fuck on. I, uh, look, I tell you what. I see you at your funeral. Maybe. But anyway. Oh, y'all hear that? Huh? Y'all hear that? Oh, me neither. She must have shut the fuck up. About fucking time. Like, let's be for real. Let's go down. Let's do your track record. Since you since you claim you know so much about me and want to talk shit in the text about me, your fucking mom don't like you. She got rid of your ass at the age of 14. So do you really want to go there? Hold up. Hold up. Okay, come on. Get in the lane. Get in the lane. Your mom don't like you. She got rid of you at 14. Now, I'm going to say this much. Now, let's be clear. And let's be crystal fucking clear. Your son don't like you, but he respect the fact that you're his mother. But he really don't like you because you be on some bullshit and you be coming crazy out your mouth and don't respect him for the young man that he is. But the fact that you're his mother, he got love for you and respect you to that degree. Your daughter's scared of you because you act half crazy and try to and try to act like you're gonna do something to her. But at the end of the day, she tolerates you. Your baby dad, <laughs> that's obvious. He don't want you. Like I said, pump and dump. Next, let me see. Your stepdad? Yeah. Your stepdad? He ain't really fucking with you. He's just there. You know? You know how to fuck up a wet dream, though, because last time I checked, y'all conversation ended in an argument because you couldn't get your way as far as taking care of your mother the way you wanted to when she was ill. So, what happened? You do a temper tantrum. Like, oh, yeah. I told you, I'm going to refrain from using that B word on you, but I'm going to call a spade a spade. Like, uh, mm. you do a temper tantrum, the niggas cut you off. So, to me, you're just in the fucking way. You're just in the way. So, once again, family ain't shit. You're right. <laughs> I ain't shit, but I'm going to keep it real about you. Like you said, you're not gangster, but you let shit be known. I'm about that action. I don't have to be, but I'll definitely put the facts out there. Now, take it or leave it. Either shut the fuck up or let's go. However you want to do it. But one thing you ain't going to do is you ain't going to keep coming through my phone talking shit, nigga. I will not. I will not expose you. You forgot. You're my family. So the dirt is real that I got on you. Better sit your dumb ass down somewhere and go wipe some ass and get paid for it. Do what you do best, ass wiper. Yo, this shit right here is a big body production, and I'm just getting started. Later, y'all.